Hello everybody, Lazarus here, once again, playing The Binding of Isaac Reaper. And do something a little bit different today. Let's do a challenge run, mainly because I kind of want to unlock some runes. Get a few more consumables in play. Runes seem like a fun thing. Some of these challenges aren't really so much... Well, they're challenging, of course. But they're also kind of fun, unique sort of gameplay things. So we're going to do uh, Cat Got Your Tongue, where we got to fight exclusively using Guppy's Hero. It's the Abaddon symbol. I really would like Abaddon. Make some sort of challenge surrounding Abaddon, where you're just, you know, ridiculously powerful and you blow everything up and have fear shots. That'd be great. But... So I need a little nicotine before I get started here. Okay. I'm ready. I think. The key to Guppy's hairball is getting this nice, uh, swinging mace motion. Think that I can set this TNT off with uh, the hairball? Yeah, that is correct. Gotta make sure I use Guppy's head as much as possible. Guppy's head and not take Bob's rotten head there. But should I not get any bombs on this floor, I will take that and find a secret room. We do actually have a bomb. Still, though, we can conserve it. Take the head, though, just to kind of beef up our fly supply. And uh, when I have an idea of where I think the secret room might be, we'll go grab that and we'll use it to try and bust it. We can't even find that neutral fly, so this is going to be a nuisance. picked it up, I didn't really realize how it was going to work, that I had to, had to hit the fire buttons to do it. I don't even have, I'm just playing the whole thing one-handed. I mean, I can't shoot, so why do I even need my other hand on the controller? So therefore, I didn't have my other hand on the controller. But yeah, it worked out, three cents, blah, 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 whatever. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm running past this chest over, oh, the goat head, lovely. He accepted my offering. We can actually get a devil deal on the first floor now, I think, which is, you know, pretty sweet. Especially because I haven't started hemorrhaging HP yet, so, you know, that's, that's good. Speed down! Eat a fucking dick! Pardon my... Uh, yeah, no, I don't pardon me. I don't give a shit. Eat a dick. That's what we're going for. 
That is exactly what we don't need. Because that's gonna actually that actually decreased our range significantly. It's actually much harder to get it out to this reduced range as well. So our max range went down and it's harder to get it swinging at that max range. So what we really need right now badly is a speed. Champion, is why the hell not, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Went down pretty quick, all stats up. Alright. We cannot get a devil deal on the first floor, it seems, no matter what, even though we have the goat head. Yeah, see, it's easier to get it going now. Yes. Still feeling that speed down a little bit, but that certainly helped out a bunch. On the basement, too, I'm gonna rock the cursor. Let's see what we got. We got spiders. I got flies. So there you go. Place the gross. Spiders, we got flies, we got a good chest. I'll open it. There's some money. There's some money, in fact. <laughs> Popcorn heads. <laughs> yeah, you're on fire. Bomb. That's what you need to do. Use this. Range down. Well, that doesn't really matter at this point. But still. Flies, take care of this. There we go. Um, oh, that was a mess. Mold rooms on the basement. I know you guys, anyone who's watching this knows probably a whole bunch about this game, so you all know that mold rooms in the basement is an important thing, and they're generally kind of weird, especially if you happen to be looking for them and actually call them. If that statement means anything, it means that I Pretty sure anybody watching any of videos already knows what's up. Alright, we gotta get these knobs down. Start They're already making a bunch of jizz. Okay, stop. Stop with the jizz knobs. It is, it is supposed, I know it's for spiders, but I mean, it's definitely supposed to be jizz. You know the sense of humor that this game has, and there is an item called the Juicy Sack, which drips sticky white goo and says it's sticky spider generator. So this is something about sticky. I don't know that Edmund McMillan has a rather crass sort of sense of humor, so clearly what's going on here. Maybe the spiders are known for blowing really big loads, who knows? Oh, those spider webs can't hurt me. Oh yeah, spider webs make webs out of sticky white goo, I suppose it could be that too. Alright, this dude is causing a lot of problems, why am I not using guppies? speed is up to the critical point where Guppy's hairball has got some significant range. I don't think any more speed will help us increase it. Uh, yeah, I, I can't. Sorry. No. We're just, no. Just absolutely not. No. <laughs> nice try. What am I going to do? Get extra Guppy? I can't become, like, double, triple Goopy here by getting a cat. That will not help us. That'll make things demonstrably worse. Oh my god. That's probably the best thing I could have done there. <laughs> no, I, I never even thought about having to do this with Gummy's hairball. For those things, those walking turrets are just plain awful. There we go. Only one key. I'm not really in shop territory yet. Yeah, so it. It's very hard, but happy with the decision. Now we're out of keys, but you know, since there's no item, keys are not the most valuable thing in the world. 
world. And we are, we have got these tails, so we watching this video. The video is the only thing to see, so I hope you see that. And that was pretty skilled. Trinity Shield, that'd be nice too, you know, something. But, uh, you know, max HP, can't complain too. I, I am complaining, so I guess I can. I certainly can. Should I? Debatable. I am, though. Alright, Catacombs 2. Arcade. Inside. This is a pretty sparse arcade. I've never seen this happen before. Need a little nicotine. I have an electronic cigarette. I know you guys can't see that because I don't have a webcam or anything, but uh, that's what I'm doing. Maybe just a little back and forth motion is what you need for these guys. And then the Brim Spiders, which we know are coming. We'll be, we will see Brim Spiders during this run. That will happen. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out over here into a nice. Oh my god, how did I. How am I letting this happen? Alright, I guess I'm happy with the, uh. with the. spirit hearts then. They were beneficial. I was wrong. I doubted in the angel. I doubted God, and now this is what I get. So, there we go. Alright, uh, curse room. I'll do it. And I get spiders. You know what? Oh, I can't. I can't leave. I have to deal with the spiders. That's right. As if, as if having to just come in here and take damage wasn't enough, I have to fight your fucking spiders too. You assholes. Alright, well that was a pretty nice guppy there. There, it's a pretty good swing. I'll check this little room as there's any chance of the keepers. Okay. Alright, he's not going to be down with but let's use these rocks to our advantage. There we go. Good swing. Now, I think that covering more distance is the way to go. Let's see if we can come in from far. Like that. Or like... Yeah. I don't know. It's all about momentum. Really. Right. Liberated a pill for us. sort of weekly publications you may have. I will also blow up these mushrooms and see what comes in. Another one, huh? Let's just get crazy with this shit. Alright, we are now officially getting crazy with this shit. But, I can get the hairball going at max distance, max speed, very quickly. Alright, let's double down on this mushrooms. Nonsense. What do we got here? Luck down. I already can't shoot. I'm pretty much as unlucky as I'm gonna get. I think I'm done with mushroom time now. A few uh, bee lickers. I could have just left them alone in here to lick bee, but you know what? I didn't. And now we're all in here walking around together. And frankly, all your bee licking is making me kind of uncomfortable. So you're gonna have to die. Also, those are pretty easy enemies for us to be dealing with. So I'm pleased about that. Some diglets. Yes. I, I don't know. What do you call them? Like diglets. I am hitting jack shit. All right, there we go. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I was being careful there. I was trying not to get too greedy. Just wait until I happen to be in the right place in the right time to get my swing on. Okay, Mr. Poop Man. Mr. Poop Man. Alright, good. Mr. Poop Man is now under control. He has been relegated to the dustbins of history. We don't need to worry about Mr. Poop anymore. Hear that guy? Very nice, very nice. I would have to assume we're on our way to the boss. And we also we don't have any keys. Alright, get rid of that. Uh, I mean, if it's the Ipecac bomb, Ipecac makes you throw up, therefore those are puke nubs. So, yeah, we want to take care of them as fast as possible and not get all, get done, get all blowed up. Mm. Oh, like that. We already knew what to do with these guys, too. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, you know what? Oh, okay. I think this is probably pretty awesome. Alright, and I say that as I go and take damage pretty much immediately upon starting a fight, even though this boss is basically considered a joke. I don't think I'm going to stop considering this boss a joke. How long have we held on? That's a great That's what we need, man. And uh, I will also take the mark. Oh, I see. So, like, how do I get a devil room if I already started getting deals with the angel? But I did not actually get a true deal with the angel. So therefore, there is no precedent. Because he only gave me spirit hearts, there's no saying that another one is going to show up. I never took an item. So now we have to deal with the devil precedent, because I did take an item. So I just took the mark and the pentagram, so that's damage plus damage equals big, fat, mad, crazy damage. 
So before we start, this, that, that's a necropolis ticket. I actually don't know how to get it to say the title. Yeah, that was okay. okay. How do I get it to say the title? Do this. Yep, this is kind of. Yeah, we'll just dance around like this for a little bit. I'll have to make a team and then we'll resume. Yeah, boss rush ticking away. Don't care. So.
That's that mo that's probably even better than Bum Friend. I mean, Dark Dark Bum. Dark, bum, bum Friend wouldn't be helping us here, but this is huge because I was really scared about the mom fight, going by how well that float fight went. All right, Curse of Darkness. We got to add a little bit more dickentry before the end of this run. So what I need is uh, some nicotine. Save this, or maybe we go rock the blood bank. We 
with it. Let's, uh, try and get, let's try and get a payout. Maybe we can get the blood bag. Yeah, right. But uh, let's try and get the blood bag. A few hearts in there. Yeah, there's two hearts in here. So let's start with the chariot. I use the love of the 
I said I want to start getting some runes in play, and now we have a rune in play. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Probably going to do a couple more challenges before I jump back onto the main runs. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see where it goes. We'll see how it goes. But that was a good time. It was, uh, it was definitely challenging in the end. I know I could have made better use of Guppy's head. I kept forgetting to proc it. But uh, Little Brimstone's really the, the savior of the day, because I don't see how the fuck I would have been able to beat Mom with a goddamn hairball. So uh, that really is what made it all possible. Still, hey, all spare in love and Isaac. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me again soon. In the meantime, though, peace. <laughs>